Piss off. It's a lock in. I'm a good person. I I try and do as much good as I can. I'm maybe not very good at it, but I I really try my I best. I don't consider my chance in a good person. But I'm going to quit my job. I I'm going to go to India. I'm going to teach children in India and 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 care, take care of, of rescue. I, I read this article about rescue cows and rescue rescue an animal shelter. The cows in India they're, they're holy and they they walk around the streets and they let them do whatever and they. They eat plastic bags, and they, well, they eat whatever is on the street. There's lots of rubbish, and they eat plastic. They can't digest plastic bags, and they die. If and and you can't because the holy cows, you can't euthanize. Terry's one of those guys who you can relax around. That's why I signed the petition, and that's why I can see why he's making this stand. No, 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 no. Give me, give me more. A bit more sex appeal, eh? Come on, your fucking life depends on this. The George has always been a decent pub. Yeah. Terry's one of those guys who you can really relax around. That's why I signed the petition, and that's why I can understand why he's making this stand. Do you think he's doing her? Hmm, that kind of woman. I suppose it's possible. My, this community, my pub. This community, this pub is part of the community and Terry is part of the community too. He's, he's, yeah. he's now part of this community, building the pub, the pub to be part of my the community. And guts, and it's my blood and guts. It, you know? It's his blood and guts. Fundamental to the culture of Britain. It's tosses like you, that's the whole reason we're down here. If you cared about people rather than just thinking about building a bloody Tesco. We chose actually. We think the area's got potential. The writings of Samuel Pepys describe the pub as the heart of England. See? <laughs> the heart of England. Maybe they'll do what he's asking for, you know? Give him safe passage abroad with his son and promise not to knock down the pub. <laughs> Does anyone know anything about explosives or detonators? Do we even know this thing is real? He was in bomb disposal in the army. I reckon it's real. These are for you. I 
I'll be back soon. Look, dude. I know I said I was gonna tear this place down and sell it to the supermarkets. I get it. It's cool. I can buy this place and contract to keep it as it is. I can get the money delivered to get you and your kid out of here. You know, he and I are in exact agreement. We both want to blow up this shithole. I just prefer it if it wasn't with me in it. I'd like to go traveling again. You forget how big the world is out there. How about South America? Brazil? That's where he wants to go. Maybe you can pay him a visit. Okay then. India. It's a deal. Why don't you two lovebirds just get it over and done with and kiss? You're so sad. She's hot for you. Aren't you? Shut up. You and your filthy minds. But it's you that has the filthy mind. You love the way she bosses you around. I bet you'd love it even more if she tied you up and screwed you senseless. You just haven't got the guts to tell her. And that's why you can't stand me. Because I've done everything you can only dream about. If you did blow this place up, mm. they're still going to build Waitrose. <laughs> In many respects, you're doing their job for them. We need to stop thinking about how to please him and start thinking about how to disarm him. You're all living in a dream world. He's not letting anyone go. Releasing a hostage is a negotiation tactic. It establishes good faith and sets a precedent. I think I've got a decent chance. I think it's fair to say I'm the only person here who ever tried to help Terry. It didn't really work, though. Ruth. Did it. Encouraging Terry to write his little war stories. You dropped him pretty fast. Come on! Stop! Just stop! You've got to stop fighting. But don't you see this is what he wants? Nice. Yep. Yeah, good mine. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Why all the weird messages? I was drunk, alright? I sent you some random texts I was drunk. So just forget it. Uh-huh. Jesus, you got some nerve. I've got some nerve. Yeah. I'm not the one sending weirdo text messages to my ex all day long. You're the one person that could sit me right over the edge, you know that? I know you. I just don't want you to do something stupid. I'm not going to do anything stupid, all right? Okay. It's dangerous up there. Yes, dear. It's dangerous down here as well. There's something wrong about up there. I can't see you. Deborah sees things. She's psychic. Christ on a bike. 
What's that? Don't touch that. Don't touch that. You don't need to know what it is. You're having a laugh. Are you serious? Somebody's got to make a stand, right? If nobody makes a stand, then this whole place will be just a giant bloody Tesco. Right, Rose. We can't just stay down here. If she's seeing something bad, we should be getting out now. Right, come on! Liam. Well, he really needs a dad. Not one that's dead or in prison. Oh, you change your tune. <laughs> well, we'll sort it. You're lying, aren't you? What, what did you see? I don't know. Everything breaking. Pieces flying everywhere. Where? Where did you see pieces flying everywhere? I don't know. I, I also saw Terry had lost. So... Maybe it's hard to describe. I was going to read your palm. Relax your hand a bit. Yeah. <laughs> which one's which? I can't remember. That one there. Looking at about 98 to 100 years old. I feel like it. What was your brand? About 95 or something? Um, and love life is... What do you see? Well, let's go, didn't I? Eh? I was never worried. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Of course I disarmed it. I didn't want the thing going off by accident. I told them all it was a fake. Free drinks all round. <laughs> They got to feel like heroes for forgiving me. No harm done. No charges brought. The cleaner. <laughs> I ask her. Ridiculous. Embarrassing. Well, it's always good to have a proper dress rehearsal. Test out a plan before you put it into action. Next time, it will be... Uh -huh.